right welcome let's talk about big brother ninja from last night at about i think eight o'clock until now about past seven okay um i will start with jackie b you know after the whole i think i ended the last uh this is when they won when um lick is it Lick? no sasuke um j paul angel and one more person who was the other person and uh, saga when they won the task so that's where i ended it so i feel like jackie b is a solo because i would not just say this except this is the second time that i've seen her do this she did this remember when lee quarrels won the third for the pepsi thing and she thought that she did i know her score was close to lee quarrels one but then she also did the same thing with this task she was asking oh she thought everybody's at least gonna win some little thing how blah blah and her team was not even like literally if sasuke team did not win it was going to either be liquor rose or white money team that was going to win she had team was not in the running at all they were just they they literally secured the last position so i didn't know why she was like complaining about it so i was like hmm she's a sore loser to be honest like i don't get it and then um Saga was talking about not doing masters. Saga is me. I am not studying no more. I am here to make money. I have studied and I don't want to study again. So I do understand Saga said that he's not going to study anymore. He doesn't want to do masters. I don't want to do masters. I don't want to do PhD. I don't want to do nothing. I know I have people in my family that like to study good for them. Study, study, study. But me, moi, have studied and moi needs to make money. Ego. That is it for me. I don't have time for a book anymore. <laughs> so I was like, Saga! I feel you. Anyway, uh, Likoros had a dream. And someone told her that she was safe. She was telling uh, Emmanuel, I think, in the morning. And now I'm like, Likoros, it's because you're safe. Your subconscious telling that you're safe, girl. There's no need for you to worry. You're safe. You have a lot of fans and that they're voting for you. That is a fact. And then um, Nini and Jackie talked about uh, what the first thing would when really they get their phone. Jackie said she's going to book a fly for her son to come here because she cannot even stay without him anymore. For him to come to Lagos for a while before she'll be able to know because she's going to have the press round. So call her parents and Nini was going to call her mom. She said she does not want, it doesn't have to be her phone, any phone she's going to, you know. And then uh, Sasuke went out and Sasuke was crying and obviously the agenda, yes, the agendas were flying. Oh, she's crying now. Oh, she was just there crying. And then after she cried, and then she and J. Paul later on had the conversation where J. Paul was saying, I don't know if Sasuke told J. Paul that he did not like, um, that Cross said that he does not like um, J. Paul sleeping in her bed. Or if someone else told him, I don't know, but he was saying that. And, and, and J. Paul obviously was like, okay, uh, he came to my um, your bed to sleep because he doesn't want me to come to the bed or something like that. And then she's like, i was um shocked when he did and everybody was like oh all i saw was forced 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 honestly i do have a clip on it i don't know if you guys want me i think i'll play the clip so just watch the clip and then we'll continue okay <laughs> Okay. so you can see that she said that she was shocked but she didn't say that uh, cross did anything to be honest and the agenda against this girl is just going to make more people like this girl because i understand that yeah some fandom see her like as a threat in a way because especially when it comes to tasks she is part of one of the reasons but if your faith is not in the same team with her she might win and uh, just the same as lee quarrels i think she and lee quarrels they are very strong in tax and i see licorice fans always coming at her neck because i feel like she's the only female competition that licorice has in the house when it comes to tax and things like that even in the pool game today she won the first the qualifying round and then licorice won the finals and you can see that licorice fans are like oh people thought Sasuke is gonna win it's a game anybody can win anybody can lose you know like sometimes you guys just need to pipe down like seriously if you guys continue it this way you might end up getting enemies on the way and at the end of the day all these other fandoms that are going to be there when the final comes so you don't want to be that team that is so annoying that the other people are going to go against you you don't want that so alliance is also very important so all i would say is that please just like bc cross has a lot of alliance like when he was up 
a lot of people were going to vote for him also because their own people were not up he was so cross was safe safe because of that so you need to also think i know yali cross has a lot of fans at the moment but you guys need to be smart you need alliance later on so stop bad mounting other people's uh this thing just focus on your focus that's all i'm going to say and then um they did the whole concentration concentration game truth or that of uh, when they were doing that sasuke and jepo were in the room and then sasuke did not want to talk to jepo but jepo was just there just going on and on like i think they were about to break up like okay should we go back to the room and then he's like are they breaking up is she, he's even breaking up here and then he did not want to leave there he was just there like the guy i don't know i personally feel that jepo is emotionally blackmailing sasuke i don't know i understand that sasuke has played with Bo Cross and Jepo's emotion, that is facts. But he's emotionally blackmailing her because how he started, right? Okay, yeah, he liked Thai beats. They were friends. And then he, he, you know what I mean? They were friends. They were close. And then he was everywhere. You know what I mean? He was everywhere. Sammy was close to her and he was close to Sammy. She even told Sammy that it was cross that she was going to choose it. She be HOH. It -H. was cross that she liked. It wasn't even Jepo. She told Sammy that. And then, but Jepo, I think after that day that all the guys were talking about her, how beautiful she is, Jepo is like, let me look back again he's like i don't know what i have and then that's when he started over putting pressure and the guy was guiding her to their head this look at game i'll just watch this video It was like the whole game. I was like, what is happening? Even when uh when she was standing, she was standing here, cross was standing here, he was just by somehow always trying to be there he was there was a time he was standing across his hair he was in by cross because he does not want cross to he did not want people to hug her like he's like people are trying to hug her he's just there he's like he hugged her from the back he hugged her from the front he's like he wants to just eat the girl literally even saga even less nini saga that lives inside nini's ass allows like nini still goes around and hugs she does not just you know wow kai seriously it's like he's over fighting up for sasuke and i understand like i know like if you're a girl you're not going to tell me that you don't understand the, the guy that acts like he's going to die without you and then you give him a chance because you feel like oh he loves you so much and maybe the person you like might not lo love you that much and then you don't want to get hurt because at the end of the day we give our hearts out and then we get hurt so at the end, so when you see someone that acts like they love you like they would die you know like you're their sun and their moon and their stars only when she now goes and watches diary session and realize that he never even talked like you know whenever he talks about strategy like when he wanted to say it wasn't her he talks about strategy she was not mentioned that's where she's gonna know that he did not really care about her he just wanted that emotional support or connection in the house to make his life you know feel and settled like the way it is going to be in the outside world i don't see them lasting at all seriously i see him going on sunday she's staying and then she moving on but i want uh, please cross i do know that you like the girl like oh you love the girl and i like her she's my favorite and you're my second fave but all i'm saying is this please give her her time like i'm not saying that you should not give her a chance because if you see your a wife or whatever i'm sorry guys i don't know how you guys are looking at things if someone sees a future with someone and you see someone that the person has the quality of your future partner your husband your wife don't let any rubbish rubbish thing will not make you she has not had sex with the guy she has not like seriously don't let any rubbish rubbish thing not make you lose somebody that you can see your future with that is rubbish all this one you guys are saying girls who tell guys get out or whatever the guys will still go back nigerian guys are the ones that know how to go back to a girl over and over they'll ask again 
out for two whole years before they even marry the girl. The girl would have a relationship, break up, then they will still... I beg, don't come now because you can watch other people and then now you want to come and talk. You girls, you do the same thing as Sasuke is doing and the guys, you know that you have been on a girl's case over and over again. If Cross really loves Sasuke the way he's saying, because to be honest, everything he's saying, he's saying about the future and I can really see them working. So if he does, he should give her a hard time. Like, he should not talk to her. She will get, like, seriously, when Cross does not talk to her, about, you will see her mood. And like, she gets moody. I know people are saying that she's getting moody because she thinks she's going to be a victim, that she said. But nah, anytime she even crosses moody himself. Like, when both of them are not connecting, you see, they will be moody. They do this <laughs> around this time. Then by Friday night or Saturday night, Friday night, she will be going wherever he is, close to him. Once she's had alcohol in her system, she'll be going close to him, wherever he is, to try and dance there to see if he will come to her. She doesn't like to go to him. She wants him to come to her, but she will be around him. All around, if you enter water, she enter water. You do this, she do that until... <laughs> That's what they do. So at the end of the day, I feel like he should pepper her. He can still before the show will end. I think that they should like kind of have a connection so that she doesn't have anything to do with J. Paul. I'm sorry. That is how I feel. But this is me. So I'm just talking. So um, is that all that has happened? Yeah, so that's all that's happened. Right now they are um, preparing for a task. I'm gonna talk about the task and if I think that will happen until um, tomorrow. Um yeah, so by this time tomorrow I'll talk about it. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you some other time. Bye bye.